So uh, <laughs> the Bible said, um, when you read Ecclesiastes, it says it is all vanities. You know what I'm saying? People get up in the morning and go to work just to get away from their kids. Just, just to get away from their kids. You know what I'm saying? Just to get away from their spouse. Just to not remember or to be reminded that they don't have anything in common with their spouse other than the fact that they had some halfway decent sex a long time ago and they still raising them kids. But the love has been gone. And in and, and, and some situations, I wouldn't advise lust. But the Bible says it's better to marry than to burn with lust. And once you get married, let the lust burn. People are married, don't even lust for each other no more. And really, and, and, and for some people, the best thing to happen to their marriage is when another man on the outside of their marriage lusts for what they got them to, which eventually gets purported to them. Like, yo, man, somebody else want what you got. You could not have it. Somebody else want what you got. You know what I'm saying? But there's some people who are not aware of that, not keen to that, not hip to that. And they lose out. But some people are upset because they are married and nobody's trying to cheat on them. On, nobody's trying to, you know, draw their spouse to cheat. There was a, there was, a, I don't know if it's Milton Berle, one of those uh, Jewish uh, comedians. He was like, he's like, how you doing? He's like, I'm so and so. That's my wife. Here, take my wife. Here, take her. Please, I insist. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, look, maybe you can restart her fire. Maybe after she sleeps with you, She'll have some zest and kick with me. Like when, like when uh, Chris Rock was like, who the hell real posted your pussy? Yeezy real posted my pussy. I was in parts of your pussy. I was in parts of pussy I've never been to before. I was in parts of pussy I've never been to before. Who got you wearing them Jimmy Choo shoes? Yeezy taught me. Yeezy taught me to wear the Jimmy Choo shoes. <laughs> Yeezy taught you well, girl. Who got you out there drinking coffee? And then brushing that damn shit off your damn uh, stuff. Yeezy taught me. Yeezy taught you. Yeezy taught you well. And when I see Yeezy, I'm going to thank Yeezy. I'm going to be like, thank you, Mr. Wakeman. Thank you, Mr. Yeezy. Thank you, Mr. Yeezy. I'm going to go out there and shoot a bootlegger. Fuck around, you know what I'm saying, messing up Mr. Yeezy's money. But Mr. Yeezy is spending his money on you. Because Yeezy taught you, girl. Yeezy taught you, girl. Yeezy taught you. Yeezy taught you, girl. <laughs>